Hello. Reflections for Council PTA and Regional Coordinators presentation. In this presentation, we will go over step by step that a Council PTA and Regional Coordinators can effectively facilitate the NAT reflection program for local chair. Reflection is the national PTA's oldest and largest student recognition program. For nearly 50 years, the Reflections program has engaged nearly 300,000 students throughout the country in pre-kindergarten through grade 12 and their families each year. This national program can be utilized as, as an opportunity to encourage students' creativity in your local schools. As a council PTA or regional coordinator, you are the vehicle to reach out to local PTA arts and education or reflection chairs to carry on this wonderful opportunity for future leaders. Let's move on to program eligibility. Reflections program is open to all students in Texas. The participant school must meet the necessary requirement to attain active status no later than October 31st. Be sure to communicate with the local PTA chairs at that school. Membership is required for council and state level advancement. The student or at least one person from their primary household must be a current member of the local PTA or PTSA where the student is participating. As a council or regional coordinator, you are responsible for making sure all advanced entries have fulfilled the requirements. The grade divisions, pre-K through fifth, are the primary and intermediate divisions. Secondary school students grade six through eight are the middle school division, and grade nine through 12 are in the high school division. Special artist students go across the grade levels. In the next section, we will take more, we will talk more specifically about special art division. Students who identify as having a disability have two ways to enter the reflections program. Special artist or traditional grade division. National PTA Special Artist Division is an option for students with disability who receive services under IDEA or Section 504 to have the opportunity and accommodation they may need in order to participate fully in the program. The Special Artist divisions offered modified rules and guidelines to ensure that every student has a chance to be a part of the National PTA Reflections Program. Council level will divide entries from special artists by grade level. However, at the state level, special artist entries will not be divided by age or grade division. Please refer to the rules on texaspta.org for details. What type of artwork can I do? There are six art categories, dance, choreography, film production, literature, music composition, photography, and visual art. Students may enter the Reflections program in one or more art categories with no limit to the amount of entries in single categories. Each year, Reflections program has a unique theme. This year's theme is, what is your story? The program is designed to encourage each student's individual creativity. Each entry must be the original work of one student only. Use of copyrighted material is prohibited. Please refer to the specific arts category rules for details. Did you know each year's theme is suggested by students in the nation? The student can also suggest the future theme. Communicate with the local chair about the theme search contest to help promote this opportunity for students. 
Texas PTA will select five theme suggestions to advance to the national level of judging. One exceptional theme will be chosen on February 1, 2017 to inspire creativity for the 2018-2019 PTA Reflections Program theme. The winner will receive $100 in recognition at the National PTA Convention. You can find the details on the Texas PTA Reflections web, web page. We are available to help you organize and plan your program. The following locations provide resources that can help you and provide information you will need for successful program. Texas PTA and National PTA have an artwork gallery showing entries from the previous year. It is a great way to show examples and inspire students. Be sure to share the link with your local chair. How do I proceed this program? Teamwork is the key. Recruit volunteers from your council PTA, other local campuses, and community to help with your tasks. This is especially critical at the time of judging, recording the advancing entries, and award ceremony. Be sure to promote on your council website as well. This is an example how the Council PTA or Regional Coordinator could plan their reflection program. As you see, through August through February or March, your calendar is pretty tight. They should have an effective plan to keep the local PTA chairs on track throughout the school year. We will guide you each step as we proceed through the presentation. Before school starts, your council PTA can have a back-to-school roundtable where an arts in education or refle reflections chair have a session to go over the reflections program and share ideas with the local chair. Utilize your resources. Talk with your superintendent and principal about the reflections program and explain to them what a wonderful opportunity it is for all students. Establish a good relationship with your fine art director to gain support from the art, theater, and music teacher specifically. Point out to them that the Reflections program can create positive publicity for the school district, and having all schools and students think about the common theme can build a great sense of community ask for their support and input. But remind them that this is a PTA program and you are not asking teachers to do more work. Simply offer the theme as part of their curriculum. Also reach out to local PTA presidents of the schools not yet participating to explain the impact of the program and recruit a leader to start the reflections program at their campus. Help the local PTAs promote the program on their campus. This is an example of this year's flyer and poster. It is available on the Texas PTA website and customizable, so the local chairs can add their deadline for student entries, submission instructions, and contact information if the student has any questions. You can also have the posters displayed in your community, such as dance and music studios where neighborhood students gather and refer them to ask their school PTA for more information. This year, September 11th through 17th is National Art in Education Week. Communicate with the local campus chairs to incorporate and utilize this celebration week. This is a great way to kick off the Reflections program. National PTA suggests that you utilize each day to feature a different category, like Monday, dance choreography, Tuesday, film production, Wednesday, literature, Thursday, music composition, Friday, photography, and visual art. 
here is another great opportunity to promote the program. National Arts and Humanity Month during October. You can remind the local chairs how the art impact our lives and how Reflections program can be an opportunity for students to engage in art. By the end of October, local campuses will have all the entries collected from students. So encourage local chairs to keep their excitement going at their campuses. Deadline. Texas PTA due date is January 17, 2017. November and December are the busiest time of the year. Be sure to set the due date early enough so that you will have enough time to have entries just before the winter holiday. Before the council PTA or regional due date, local PTA chairs must submit both participating summary and advancing entering entrance spreadsheet online through the Texas PTA website. When they, when they complete the form, the advancing entrance spreadsheet will be emailed to council or regional leader directly. Advancing entrance spreadsheet should have all the student information you need for each advancing entry. The list can also verify physical submissions of entries from local schools at the time of the collection. Remind each local PTA chair to complete their online submission of the participation summary and advancing entrance spreadsheet. However, it is also a good idea to request a hard copy of advancing entrance sheet accompanying the entrance to accompanying the entries at the time of collection. Contact any local PTA that has not completed the advancing entrance spreadsheet within a few days of your deadline. You need to recruit judges before you start collecting entries so that you will be ready to proceed with judging right away. To have three judges in each category is ideal. Secure a place for judging where it is spacious enough that, that you can display the artwork comfortably. You might also want to have a judging on the night of the collection day at the same location so that, that you do not have to transfer the entries to another location. Make sure all advancing entries follow the guidelines and rules. Familiarize with each category rules and guidelines is crucial to the council chair and regional leader. Make sure that the student entry form is complete and legible. If you find any missing information, contact the local chair of the school where the entry was submitted. Since Reflection is the participation program and not a contest, it is best to work with the local PTA student or family to resolve an inflection rather than simply disqualifying the entry. If the integrity of the piece is not compromised by the infraction, you may be able to wait until after judging to see if the entry will be advancing. Simply put, there is no reason to spend time and energy on piece that is not advancing to the next level of judging. Prepare submission for judges' review. Organize the entries according to the art categories and grade division. For the student entry form so that the information about a student is not revealed and blind judging can be conducted. At this point, it may also be a good idea to take a photo of the visual arts and photography entry. The non-visual entry can be scanned or the digital file saved. This is a great way to keep the record to prevent from losing or mixing up the entries from various schools. Also, they can be used for slideshow at the award award ceremony.
A sample judging score sheet can be found on the Texas BTA Reflections webpage. As you see on the judging rubric criteria, entries will be judged primarily on how well the student uses his or her artistic vision to portray the theme, originality, and creativity. Please encourage the judges to read the artist's statement as this usually ties the artwork back to the theme. Council level, the amount of visual work to judge could be too many to track on the scorecard. You could use an alternative method in which each judge puts a colored flag on all entries they feel best meet the criteria. Depending on how many flags an entry received could help to determine what level award the student receives. As for literature, film production, dance choreography, music composition, you may send or share electronically to judges or hold the judging in person. When advancing to Texas PTA from the council PTA and regional level, only one entry from each art category and grade level may advance. These entries should receive the award designated of Overall Award of Excellence. The next award designations are as follows. Award of Excellence, Award of Merit, and Honorable Mention. The amount of entries awarded with each designation can be decided by your council PTA or regional team. Don't forget to record and celebrate your events on social media. Utilize these social media to highlight many reflections moments. Council PTA recognition. Be sure to reserve your award ceremony locations early. It is time to celebrate your students' great accomplishments. So choose a day when families may also attend. You could create a memorable event by featuring the overall Award of Excellence recipients and ask them to perform or present their entry during the ceremony. You may display the entry or run the slideshow to feature all the entries. Organizing award titles, recipient names, and entry titles is time consuming, but very important so that all levels can deliver awards correctly. After the ceremony, it is time to get ready to send the entries to state level judging. Be sure that two copies of each student entry form are made and packed with the entry. Complete the Council PTA regional result summary located on the Texas PTA website. Such entries no taller than one foot in height, arranged by size and arts category. Arrange the individual packages in an appropriate sized box so that all entries will ship without any damage. Texas PTA will also recognize one entry from each art category to receive the Outstanding Interpretation Award. These entries demonstrate the most outstanding interpretation of the reflection theme in their art category, and one special artist. There will be seven Outstanding Interpretation Awards presented each year. Do not forget to recognize all the partners who gave you support in your community, including school personnel and individuals. It is a good idea to get feedback you can utilize free tools like SurveyMonkey, Google Survey, and others. This will guide you what worked and what can be improved. National PTA has an award structure similar to Texas PTA. The students that receive the Award of Excellence 
receive a monetary award of $200 in addition, addition to the other forms of recognition. National PTA's Outstanding Interpretation Award winner receive $800 and their PTA will receive $200 award. National PTA recognizes that their reflections winner at their national PTA convention and exhibit their artwork at the U.S. Department of Education and through an online gallery. This is a schedule for 2016-2017 National PTA event. I wish all of you best and have a great year with reflections.